And I'm amazed that everybody runs off in that direction. Oh, but we've seen all the testimonies. All these people have been cured of cancer. And all this person's been cured of that. And I'm always in, would like to know what condition these people's health is like six months later and six months, six years later. But the reason we run around from pillar to post and chasing after people and paying the money is because we kind of think we're too stupid. And we don't want to admit th that, you know, we don't want to challenge people because we like, they use these big words. And, you know, maybe I'm too stupid to know about health. And maybe this gut feel that I have, and maybe my common sense is not common sense at all. Because for goodness sake, what do I actually know about health? Most people actually know quite a lot. And when you speak to people, that I, I know when we speak to about the natural way and we, you listen to some of the testimonies today, they're going to say, but that is such common sense. And we've brought quite a few people. We've got four people today that are going to share their personal testimonies. And they'll tell you how long they've been following the program they've been doing so that you can see that there's... And everybody actually eats marginally different to the next person. They're all using similar principles, but they're not all eating exactly the same. So you can see that if you've got the right principles and you understand how your body works, you don't need to be conned by the swindlers that are out there. The health industry is enormous. It is huge. It is worth billions of dollars worldwide. And every five minutes, there's another book and another product and another thing. And I'm not saying today that I'm right. I'm saying there are basic principles out there. And it's been wonderful to see over the years. There are thousands of people around the world basically saying exactly what we're going to be telling you today. The most comprehensive nutritional research ever done in the world today, the China study, backs up everything we're going to be telling you today. And it's so rewarding to see that the top nutritional researchers, Professor Emeritus at Cornell University, Dr. Colin Campbell, has done years and years of study to show that basically what we're going to tell you today is really the truth. And the truth is simple enough for a small child or a poor and educated person to not only understand but to afford. Anybody can afford to live this way. Just some of us may be prefer to eat cashew nuts rather than saving the seeds inside our pumpkin as a good source of essential fats, for example. So, you know, you, you can be poor and eat very well, but you just need to know the basics. I'm here in the home of Mary Lee and Jim Bright, and I'm actually going to be making some of, um, well, one of Mary Lee's amazing recipes. It's very similar to um, the leek and potato recipe that is in my recipe book two, I think it is, recipe book one. And what she's done is added cauliflower and mushroom to it, and it's unbelievable. And this is a great recipe on a rainy day in summer, a cold day in, in winter. Um, it's not, as much as it's a leek and potato soup, it's a little bit lighter than a uh, normal leek and potato because it's got a bit more vegetables in it. It's very nutritious, incredibly nutritious. Um, and it's, a, it's just a great meal to have. It's a wonderful standby to have. You can freeze it. You can have it when you've got pulled out of the freezer, when you've got guests. It's so quick and easy to make that you can actually just make it literally within 15 minutes. As I keep telling everybody, most of my recipes take 15 minutes to throw together, okay, without all my talking in between. And so in 15 minutes, you should be able to throw together any one of my recipes and you should have something that's delicious, nutritious, and easy to make, okay? It really shouldn't be a lot of work. And this is Merrily's recipe, so I'm going to call Merrily to come over and help me. I've got Merrily here to do all my hard work for me and I'm going to be turning on the flame and we're going to dry stir fry this. You can dry stir fry it or you can put it into the coconut oil but I'm going to be making corn tortillas in the coconut oil which you can also dry stir fry but just for tonight for different flavor we're going to put the tortillas in the coconut oil and so I thought I wouldn't use them in the soup as well. Coconut oil, remember, is the safest of all the oils to use if you're going to heat fats. Because it's a saturated fat, it means all the open, all the bonds that, that are attached to the carbon molecule of the fat, the fat molecule, have um, got a hydrogen molecule attached to it. And so it's a saturated fat, which means it's very stable. So at room temperature, saturated fats are solid. 
okay, unless it's a really hot day. That means it's a stable fat. The reason I don't use butter as much as butter is really nice and it gives food nice flavor is it does contain cholesterol. So I occasionally may use butter, but I try and rather use coconut oil. Being a saturated healthy fat, it is very stable when it's heated. Swirl of olive oil. Um, but really what makes the soup spectacular is putting in um, some fresh cream into this. Just looks so amazing. 